Hello everybody, in this episode, we are going to see how Goa is handling memory allocation while reading a big size of data. There is a big file txt, let's go and actually open it. And we need to return the resources here. And let's go actually write our count letter function. This is gonna either return a map with the, so we're gonna read the each letter and how many times it's occurring in the file. And we're gonna return a map, and also we're gonna return error or yeah, if there is any. And here we need a reader in a, as a parameter, and it's gonna fulfill anything who's fulfilling the reader interface. We can use it. So if there was not a file, but it was like network sending us the data, and we didn't we didn't even know how much of data, then yeah, could have, this fun function was gonna work anyways. And this kind of streaming is very useful and we're going to now see how actually go handling the memory allocation so for that we're going to define the buff and slice of bytes actually and let's define const here let's say megabytes so each time we're going to read the one mega and which is like one million bytes and this has to be like this and let's pass the const here Right, now we have it and let's go and read the file and give the buff here. So the what is different here? Normally you read the data and this function usually returns the data itself, right? But it's not working in the Go. We define the slice of bytes here and we pass it and it fills it with the data and returns returns the uh, actually the size of the data and if there's an error, an error. So we're gonna do this constantly till actually if error if the file is one giga one giga allocation instead of each time we're having like this one megabyte allocation in the memory so let's go and run this ah we need to put the letter out of the for loop let's run it again as you can see we got the, the number like for a we have like around four million for b around like this amount and we have the result and it took 22 seconds for the one giga and that's it for today i will see you in the next one